YouTubers have got a head turning trick um, of a way to get your car to pass um, emissions, okay? Um, a lot of times what happens with cars is when, um, especially a car that's, you know, 5, 10, 15 years old um, or older, um, a lot of reasons why they fail emissions is because um, of a dirty catalytic converter. Um, or if you've gone to the shop to get your emissions done, they said, well, in order to pass, you need a new catalytic converter. I want to show you this one um, one, one way by, to uh, turn some heads and get that problem fixed and get a little performance back um, in the meantime. But number one, um, it will definitely clean up your emissions enough for you to pass. So this worked for me last year and I'm facing the same thing this year. But what the trick is, is I'll show you in this video, is you get the sea foam cleaner, you don't add it to the gas tank, you actually add it straight into your throttle body. So when you get the sea foam, um, you find your throttle body and you, you pour, um, or if you have to, you may have to spray, um, but get the sea foam directly into your throttle body. Okay, your throttle body is where all the air comes in. And by pouring it in there, you're getting a very high concentration of the of the cleaner. Actually, probably more than the gasoline's coming in. And so what happens with this is not only does the cleaner get uh, ran through your hole, uh, your, your piston and clean out your cylinder, but a lot of it actually remains unburned, okay? And that's kind of the key here, is in that unburned portion, it gets down in your catalytic converter, which is hot, and it actually burns in there and actually does a lot of cleaning in there. And you'll know when it's burning in your cat and you're cleaning out a catalytic converter by the head turning smoke, okay? Um, I will give you a warning. You may have the fire department called on you when you do this, this trick because it's, it's that epic. So your basic instructions are to do as follows. You remove your air cleaner. Um, you remove whatever you need to remove to get down to your throttle body. Okay, your throttle body. Um, you you want to see the the you want to see the butterfly valve that you open and close where your air comes into your engine. And then what you want to do is start your engine. Make sure you're not wearing any loose fitting clothes, ties. Wear some safety glasses, all that precautionary stuff. And then what you want to do is be able to throttle your car. So throttle it manually as you're working on it. And then as you're playing with the throttle, open it up a little, get the, get the engine spinning, get some vacuum going there and start to very slowly pour in the uh, pour in the sea foam. Now, start off slow, but 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 play with it and, and try to get to the point where your engine's kind of almost riching out and kind of dying on you. And at that point, you know that you're really saturating the cylinder and you're actually getting some down into your catalytic converter. And that's where you want the sea foam to get. Um, that's where this critical cleaning is taking place, okay? That's why I'm not saying add it into your uh, your gas tank because number one you probably don't have the time you're trying to get it past an, uh, an inspection got some sea foam I'm gonna show you a little trick of how to get your truck to for your car to basically pass emissions the first time but the first thing you do is you remove your air cleaner to get to your um, your throttle body your intake manifold so Here's the one on mine, and I'm gonna show you how we do this. What the trick is, is you pour it, you pour it right down into the carburetor when you're running. So, let's go start this truck. I'll show you how it works. Let's get this baby started up. got just my exhaust coming out the side so your one consideration to this is it produces a big huge cloud of smoke so um, warn your neighbors or whatever but you know sometimes it's good to do it at night but it it'll create a lot of smoke but it cleans everything out okay just like going to the Olive Garden okay cleans you out okay here we go okay so you want to pour it right down into your intake so
That was epic. That was epic. After a smoke out, which was awesome, which my wife came out and helped film after she thought the garage was on fire. Um, so I took the truck in to have it um, emissions inspection redone again, or uh, emissions done again. And so they tested this time it passed with flying colors. And so there's my pass right there. And I just want to show you what some of these numbers were. So, um, so on the high speed test on the hydrocarbons, um, it had to be less than 220, and mine was six. And on the idle, um, it had to be less than 220, mine was 19. And then on carbon monoxide, it has to be 1.2% or less on both those tests. And at high speed, I was at 0.02%, and at idle, I was at 0%. So that's just awesome. Everything passed. Um, and yeah, so it's a quick, easy fix. Um, you will smoke out your neighbors a little bit. Um, I've actually found that doing it at night works well because it doesn't alarm people as much because, you know, just go out to a, you know, a, just somewhere, cons um, somewhere just how private you can go do it. Anyway, um, but it's, but yeah, or you can just be that guy like I was today and just smoke out your neighbors. But um, it does create a lot of smoke, but it really does clean it out. Um, and so, yeah, watch my video. If you have any questions, just post them down here. And I'll tell you what, I um, I got turned on in the seafoam thing against uh, failing my emissions inspection last year uh, for the thing. And it just, it's great to clean out your cat. So anyway, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.